Hi, I'm Pete Rattlebone, and moving on from the plumbing series, we're going to be doing safety and the use of, or correct use of, tools. And my learned colleague, Kipper, here, is going to take us through it all. Okay, now this. Uh, no, Pete. Uh, That'll make your ears bad. We'll take, take that, we'll away, take that one away. Yeah. Here we have a hammer. Now I'm not much use at all this stuff, and Kippo's going to show me how to use it. So away we go. Right. Thank you, <laughs> Bones. <laughs> this is just your standard hammer. There's nothing particularly special about it. Uh, buy them very cheaply anywhere. This is a more specific hammer for those smaller little places. And this one is for your more delicate work and for tapping in nails around window panes before ah, you actually. So I wouldn't you. use that. No, you'd use this. Is that why I broke the window? Probably. Oh. Yes. It is a bit heavy. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Now, in order to hold a hammer, you always, you've got the big grip there, but that's exactly where, so you've got plenty of movement. Give us a shot of that. So, like so. Yes, that's good enough. Not as though you're gonna strangle it, but. No, no, just have a light grip so that the right. wrist moves. Okay, yeah, I got it. Got it? Yep. Well, shall we try it out? Well, let's have a shot. Okay, there's a piece of wood. Absolutely perfect them all. And something I made before, a nail. A nail? How right. do you hold the nail without banging the million dollar thumb? Ah, now that <laughs> is the good one. That's the real question, that is. It's easy enough. You just take the nail and place it firmly on the wood, making sure that your fingers are away from the main head. Uh -huh. You then take the hammer and just let it tap to begin with so that you get it in place. Okay. After that, you then make sure the wood is braced and your hand well away and then you just let the weight of the hammer do the work so as it goes easily. But you're good at that, you've done it before. I think I have oh, a few okay. thousand times. All righty, well. Okay, here we go. Guess a shot, mate. <laughs> <laughs> go on, Bones, let's see what you can do. All right. Now, a little, oh. Careful. There's a million Listen. dollar fingers. Little taps to begin with, until you know that the nail is firm. How's that? That's perfect. Okay. Now brace the wood, make sure the hand yeah. is away. Whoa! Yes. Kung Fu. Hey, I saw that movie. There you go. Simple. How about that? Well. Now, should you need to use smaller hammers, yeah. or smaller bits of wood, yeah. when you're only using very small nails, Ow. That stung. That really stung. <laughs> <laughs> For instance, these little chappies. Yeah. Now then, these are more difficult because you'll find that everything's a bit too close. There is this amazing piece of equipment, which wow, is just a bit of plastic, but all you do is you slide the nail so, oh, so. Oh, technology at work. There we go. I love it. Now you have a perfectly upright nail and your fingers are away. Light taps, remove, and let the hammer do the work. Well, look. How about technology? <laughs> Human technology. <laughs> We're not just a pretty face. So let's have a shot. Where do I put this? Anywhere? Any one of the slots. Yeah. And a bit, bit uh, so that push it down so it's yeah, flat. Yeah, got it. That's it. Do you use a big hammer or a little hammer? Well, you can use that hammer for that okay. one. Okay. Uh, do the couple little little taps. Slash attach. Take the plastic away. And, and there you have a perfect. Solution. Oh, look! I tell you what. From rock and roller to carpenter. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? That's not bad. I've got That's a new pretty job. Good going. I've got a new job. How I about that? Hire you anytime. Would you? Yeah. Would you? Yeah. Yeah. Labour's rates. <laughs> oh, okay. How much? <laughs> oh, I'm not selling that. Oh, apprentice rates. Apprentice oh, oh, rates. Okay. That'll do. That'll do. Well, there we have the correct use of a hammer using 
technology and instruments. Perfect. Here we are in Bill's Curiosity Shop. It's a very oldie worldy true Englishman's garage or shed or whatever you want to call it. It's got everything in it. So we're going to be doing the correct way to put a screw into a piece of wood, the types of screws and the different methods of putting it into the wood. Kippo, take it away. Right. Well, we have various types of screws. Now, most screws nowadays are designed to actually drill themselves into the wood. So you don't need to use a bradle. On the other hand, there are some times when a What's bradle... What's a bradle? A bradle is basically an implement like this, but it's just got a point at the end. All right. And you put it into the wood and push down hard uh -huh. to create an initial hole oh, I gotcha. for the screw to go in. Right. I'm always losing mine, so I always take a drill. I've never had one. With a very small bit on the end. Uh -huh. drill, and then I just can easily... Do a starter hole. Acts like a bit of a guide. Well, exactly. And okay. also, it, it stops the wood from splitting. Right. If you actually have a hole just smaller than the actual diameter of the screw itself, right. yeah. then when you're going into pine and various other woods and you're yeah. close to an edge, it will protect it from actually splitting the wood open. Ah. So when you've got a hole through the middle to begin with, <coughs> it's much more... Gotcha much better for Understand. you. Understand. Now, this is usually used for smaller screws, because the big screws, you're just using them on major works, like cross halving, which we'll go into later, or onto general building work. Right. The smaller screws are used when you're doing more intricate work and possible on shelves and such like. Okay. So, having drilled one's little hole, one just swaps over the drill and that, that's your automated screwdriver and there we have one automated that's heavy a, that's screwdriver a serious little piece of kit there isn't it well it is a bit serious it is not it's not designed it's designed for all jobs well it's a bit like one of those american cop guns with all bits hanging <laughs> <laughs> well you can yeah. use it for oh those, yeah yeah those robot guns. stuff yeah. gotcha <laughs> But most days, uh, carpenters will use much smaller, more compact ones. But and you like a bit of butch. Well, yes, it, this is handy. This thing will do most jobs that I've ever come across. It's got a hammer action on it. It's got three speeds. Wow. It's perfect. It's an American cough gun. <laughs> <laughs> now, for this one, we keep this on the lowest speed. Right. And on the ratchet system, very light, so that when it... <clears throat> the screw is then actually in place, the ratchet will come in so it won't over tighten the screw. Ah, and split the wood. And split the wood. Cool. Now I'll hold that down with you, mate. That's okay. Just lightly start it off. Yeah. Once you know it's there, then firm. There we go. That is just a normal screw to go in. Now, most people, when you're going to do delicate work, would have countersunk the hole first. So, in order to do that... And this has to be the countersinker. That is exactly it. But first of all, we'll drill the small hole. Yeah. Some of the countersinks you can get nowadays already have a drill bit and a countersink all built into one. Really? I've got them for the basic ease of demonstration. I won't use them. Simply just place the countersink into the chuck. Yeah. Now hold Put it, it down. up to slightly faster speed. Let's hold it down. Lightly, right, right pressure. How That's cool easy. is that? Needs a tiny bit more. There we have. Wow, yeah. you see that? Look at that. A countersunk hole. And before we go any further, we should really sand that off, but there's nothing nothing really there to worry about. No. 
So now we put the screw bit back in. Yep. Down to its slowest speed. Sure. We then place it in the correct position. Yeah. Very gently start it off. And then let the drill do all the work. And then you have a flush finish. And look at that. That is a work of art. It's the start of one. We'll have you in the Louvre. <laughs> the Louvre. The Louvre. <laughs> the Louvre. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, Bones. Well, how about that? Would you like a go? Could I? Yes. You're not gonna let me loose on the gun. <laughs> I'm gonna yes, I'm afraid you're gonna have to use this, but All what right. I'll do is I'll start you off. Okay. I shall change the bits for you. Let's just put in the drill in. There we go, sir. I hold it very steady, firmly. <coughs> in your hand that you use, you're either left handed or right handed, it makes no difference with the drill. Yeah, right. So that little lady, uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Place on top of the word. Yeah. Bandido. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you getting wrapped around. Oh, look at that. And let it go down for about a bit more. And that's perfect. Excellent. I'll do the next didn't, bit I for didn't you. break it either. It's not bad, gang, because these do break very I easily. No, wow. Oh, that is so cool. Do you want to countersink this one? Oh, right. Now we're getting dangerous countersinking. Countersink in. We'll put it on to maximum speed. And keep it central. Get away, eh? It is a bit heavy, this one. Yeah. It, nowadays, they're much lighter. But Almost like one of them there Gibson <coughs> guitars where you get halfway through the night and you... <laughs> I've got one of them. Look, I'm all up so... <laughs> so is that right? That's correct. There we go. Is that right? And wipe everything away. There we go. Yeah. There's hope for me. Oh, there's no hope for you. No? Absolutely none, Oh, dear. Absolutely none. Well, there we uh, have. But I am improving. Oh, you're getting there, sir. Thank you, Doctor. I'll keep taking the tablets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, steady. Whoa. Hold on. My fault. It was on number three. Okay. If it goes too fast, you will strip the thread. On both the end bit. But you can I see can see how me much... wrapping around, wrap, 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 <laughs> wrap, wrap. <laughs> because one thing you probably saw there was the, was the drill going like that. The yeah. torque on these things is very It's deep, got a lot of grunt. And it will twist your arm. So when you're on to something like this particular screw, which is bigger than the last one, yeah. you should really have the ratchet on to stop that happening. A bit like my Mad Max mobile I had in Mel. Yeah, really? Yeah. Oh, that sounded good. <laughs> yeah, I like must it. admit. Oh, terribly, yes. Yeah. I'll have one of them. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Go with the gun. Yeah, good and big. <laughs> okay, so here we That's it. I did it. How to put a screw into a bit of wood without splitting it. Thanks, Kippo. Yes, you're getting there slowly. Oh, slowly but surely. Yes. My, like, today a bit of wood, tomorrow a house. That's uh, uh, quite an ambition. Bit of a leap, but boom, boom. Yes. We'll get there. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Okay, in this little section, we're going to be dealing with the different types of screws and screw heads. Hello. There's a Phillips, is that right? Yes, Phillips, or, or a cross a Brian or a George head. Nope. And this is a slotted head. Yes? That's correct. I ain't getting all the terminologies here, I tell you. I'm going to be dangerous. Okay, take it away. Show us how to do it, mate. I haven't a clue, right? So. Don't worry about that, <laughs> Bones. We can get it sorted. The roadies do that. Yes, absolutely. That. <laughs> right, now then, a lot of times you'll get slotted screws, which is just a cute little groove straight through the top of the screw. Uh -huh. These are usually used in decorative work so that you can line the screw heads up with each other on brass handles, sure. etc. Now, they are more difficult to use. One can use a drill on them. There are fittings which will actually go over the top of the screw and actually protect the bit from falling out. Okay. But, more often than not, if you use a power drill, you will slip it out and you'll nick a piece of 
the screw head out, which is not advisable because you're using this decorative. Sure. So then it's got to be done by hand. Yep. Now this is when you do need a brad or, okay. or a drill to start the okay. screw off. So we will do the same as we did before. Get the bit full up that bit of wood. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to weigh a bit more than it did when it came in. Now, we take on this one, we'll take a large screwdriver right. and gently turn it. Okay. And then once it's set, you can then speed it up. But just take it gently because you don't want to ruin the top of the screw and you'll find but you'll wear your wrist out fairly quickly if you got it with Sorry. too much panache. Fine. Can I have a shot? Yes, a yes certainly. Guess it, guess it go, Brian. I'll, okay, look. Uh, and we're going to hold it like so, yeah. That's it. And how about that? That's perfect. And we're doing well, Master. We are indeed. Thank you. <laughs> Cole, how about that? Well, it's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. Because I've never really done it. I've never even bothered about it. Rody does it. Right, well, exactly. Or you get some geezer to come in and do it like yourself. <laughs> but I want to get into doing it myself. Right. All well, that's, this stuff. That's all very easy now. Yeah. These particular screws will sit proud because they've got a rounded top. Sure. And